Meghan and Harry documentary in Corn Maze sequence shock. Oh my goodness me. What does it all mean? Was it planned? Was it an accident? You'll have to watch to find out. This is my take on the visuals and the techniques used, the production techniques used in making of the documentary. And I'm Jonathan Glazier and I'm a TV director. And so let's get right into the review. This isn't a review of the editorial content. Uh, we all have our opinions on that, and there's a lot of commentary on that in the comments. And thank you all so much for the comments. This is a look at the techniques that are used to make videos, to make television programs, the way that we use these techniques to manipulate the audience for the good is not all bad. You pay for an emotional experience when you go to the cinema. You pay for an emotional experience when you turn on the television in your time. You want to be excited. You want to be challenged. It's why you go to the pictures. So you don't want to just sit there and go, meh, um, because that's a bit bland. So corn maze sequence, dun, dun, dun. a corn maze sequence used in things like Children of the Corn, uh, the Stephen King novel turned into a film, very spooky film. There are many examples in cinema of when mazes or labyrinths are used. The Shining is a really good example where, although it's not a corn maze, but it's a maze of corridors where those very spooky twins can hide. That's what I mean about manipulating your emotions. It's not the most common dream, but people do dream about being trapped in mazes. You know, you go into a maze and it's all good fun. And then you're in there for a bit too long and you can't find your way out. And then it gets a little bit, oh, panic, get me out of here. I once had a panic attack in Caesar's Palace. I wasn't gambling. I was there for a conference, but it was like a maze and I couldn't get out. And that's how it makes us feel. It makes us feel trapped. We only have to see a maze and we start to feel trapped. Or is a lot of decisions. Do we go left? Do we go right? Are we going to go down a cul-de-sac? Are we going to take the right path? Are we going to get through this and come out at the other end or get to the middle? It always strikes me that the exuberance of getting to the middle is often tempered by the fact that you've got to turn around and go back out again. But anyway, they're mazes. But what does this have to do with the Meghan and Harry documentary? Well, dun, dun, dun. episode four starts off with a corn maze. Harry is chasing Archie through a corn maze. Amazing. Now, was this by design? It was obviously not shot at the time. Was it planned? I think when those pesky editing producers and story producers were looking through all the footage that Meghan and Harry had given them that they could use in the program. When they found that maze, they went, oh, this is a gift from the gods. And those demons of editing got to work on creating a super tease for episode four that perfectly represented the situation that Meghan and Harry found themselves in. And this is how People use image system and bias, our own bias. And by that, I mean, I don't think we think mazes are evil and should be disbanded and banished. I mean, our brains are automatically triggered by a maze to feel trapped, to wonder which path we're going to take. And it's those kind of techniques that filmmakers and television program makers use all the time to give you, the audience, an emotional experience. In the context of this, I'd love to be able to show it to you, but I don't want to get a copyright strike through. But it starts off with Harry following Archie, and it's all shot on a, uh, on a phone of some sort. And he's saying, which way should we go? How are we going to get there? Instantly, we're in this maze and we're trapped. But of course, that kind of symbolism is really useful and it's intercut with Megan. And um, I don't know if you remember, but in episode one, Megan said, I just don't know when we're going to get through this, when we're going to come out on the other side, just like being in a maze. This episode is also about the, the actual crux of the decision that they had to make to leave the royal family. Are we going to go left? Are we going to go right? Are we going to leave the royal family? Are we going to stay in the royal family? So the whole maze was like a perfect gift from the gods, the sort of thing that reality TV producers look for all the time. And it sets up episode four perfectly as the, as the Sussexes move to Vancouver and then to LA. And then obviously they've decided that they're, they're, they're parting ways with the royal family. And this super tease is what I've said before. It sets the tone for the entire episode. It sets the tone of what a difficult kind of no-win position they found themselves in. And the fact that they did just have to find their way through this um, red tape decisions, institutionalised tradition um, to break free and to become their own independently funded people. 
Very difficult. And that is the wonderful symbolism of the maze. We get through the maze, and the maze is a wonderful piece of image system. It anchors our feelings with anchor bias for the beginning of the episode. And it's intercut with Megan saying things like she feels alone, she felt marginalised, she felt like a fish out of water. Which way are we going to go, um, says Harry, as we're back in the maze. But then we're also, and I spoke about this in the last video, waiting for the crash. We all know what the outcome is, because after the maze sequence, it goes into happy families because she says I, I really tried so hard I tried to make them feel proud you know I even didn't wear coloured clothes because I just wanted to blend in so she uh, used a lot of fawns and browns to try and blend in not during her last week no then she went into the prime colours and there's these wonderful happy pictures of them at Sandringham with the brothers together with laughing and joking and all the rest of it but we all know that something is about to happen so we're waiting for the crash and then it comes with a lot of sad piano music uh, one minute 21 into the super tease where she says and then the bubble burst and we're now anchored into the narrative for this entire episode harry is talking about protection uh, all parents identify with trying to protect their families i think dads often feel it quite acutely especially when they have newborns around them and women of course obviously always have that maternal instinct as well, where they would do anything to protect their children and then it's all about duty what is the duty should harry's first duty be to the royal family or should harry's first duty be to his own family and his family situation it's not uh, a new concept for the royal family princess margaret um, had her love of her life and her love affair of her life destroyed because of um he had previously been married the queen her elder sister had to basically say she couldn't pursue the relationship with the person who she wanted to pursue the relationship with edward and mrs simpson you know edward had to abdicate because he wanted to marry a divorced american so these kind of relationships are there's there's nothing new in people um being dictated to by the family and then and then we get into the opening titles so the whole narrative has been set um and it's a corn maze sequence and I love it. I'm not going to comment in great depth on the last two episodes, which I've watched. I'll do an overall conclusion video, which will follow this one. But um, I think it would be difficult without getting into the editorial content to talk about the, uh, the final two episodes. But happy to discuss it in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this, do follow, like and subscribe. I'd be very grateful and see you for the conclusion. If you want to hear more about the inside workings of television or maybe you're looking at a career in television there's some more videos and all you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel and you can get all of that right here right now